Hello Malaysia, this is Jericho here and today is the 8th of August 2013, it's a Thursday. So today I'm going to be eating at this restaurant Ipoh Kong Heng and it's a Thursday but it is full as fuck. There are tons of people because it is a holiday, it's the first day of Hari Raya and everybody is back from work and back to their old original place or where they are from to visit family and friends. So this is a 360 view of the place. And this is the, uh, what do you call it, uh, concubine lane, which uh, recently ASEAN, uh, ASEAN did a review of this place, uh, that about the restaurant Tian Chun. And uh, one day I would like to come back here to eat this uh, rice place called Restaurant Wong tea they sell rice uh, let's go and have a more in-depth view and this is the concubine lane I've done it before I've been here before where all the people um, well, the rich people they have their concubines here and this is a place where you eat some rice and there is some uh, I don't know what's this called hi you are mad I got so I think this uh, peanuts and glutinous something it's around 2 ringgit 50 cents for one portion very interesting and this is a new place uh, I'm not sure about it so today actually I wanted or I wanted to eat at this restaurant Tian Chun for its uh, try its caramel custard as you can see there this caramel custard and uh, the old the best uh, uh, what you call, you call it uh, Ho Fun with uh, prawn soup that's the store that's the best ever but there are too many people here so we opted to go to this uh, restaurant Ipo Kong Hing uh, the highlight of this place is they have very good uh, Ho Fun with prawn soup one of the best very addictive uh, soup and they also have a very good caramel custard hopefully you won't get the burnt version uh, hopefully they do it well and they have very excellent lai cha or te ice and also very excellent chai cha which is uh, te ice without the condensed milk so i'm going to do a review of this restaurant Ipo kong hing and see what they have installed inside tons of people man tons of chinese people they're crawling out of the woodwork so this is another nice lane where there's a picture or pictorial picture of uh, some artist uh, Marilyn Monroe if I'm not mistaken so this place has a uh, sirloin noodles so and uh, well it's not open this chicken rice and char siu rice and this one also is another Ipo chicken kuei tiao with the whole fun as well so it's a bit different Oh yeah, more mantai. Eh? More mantai. Okay, no problem here. So there's a pretty girl there, and uh, you can see the chicken uh, head there uh, for the soup. Nice peeking out of the water, having a nice bath. And uh, is I think it's not. I don't know whether they use the prawn soup or not. I mean prawn uh, base soup where they uh, boil the whatever uh, make the soup by boiling the the shell of the prawns so this is the Ipo chicken kuei tiao what do they have installed next another thing that I like about this place is uh, the popia the popia fried fried popia sorry it's not the uh, Penang style which is wet but it's actually the uh, this is the popia one it's a dry style so if the Penang one will be wet this one is the dry so let's go okay it's a jam everywhere god damn it chicken rice here oh, shit. it's a bloody jam oh never mind i got plenty of time Okay. 
So that's the popia. They put in the skin and the sauces are up there. The red and the, the orange one. One is I think is the chili and the other one would be the tim chong which is the uh, literally translated as uh, sweet sauce. And everybody's lining up for it uh, so it's very popular. So how do they do it? Uh, the eggs on the the, the popia which has already been oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, okay. So they put the what you call uh, tofu, then they put the vegetables which is uh, bean sprouts and sliced cucumber. Come on, okay, okay. okay. He says he's very handsome today, and. He's cock blocking me, but never mind. There is the they are putting the what you call it fried onions and also the fried dough. They put the fried onions first. And uh, the the proprietor or the lady is putting this uh, what do you call it? I'm not sure what's it. Uh, maybe it's prawn, fried prawns. No idea. Oh me, I all. Huh? Fried Hi, prawn. fried prawn. Uh, yep, this fried prawn. And uh, the most important part of it is the loba, the cooked loba, which is putting on to the popia. And if this is was a uh, uh, Penang style, it will put the whole popia, which has already been uh, been uh, put together like this, into a, the loba soup. So that's the finished product. How much is it? Uh, I'm not sure. So the rest is uh, let's see. They have roja as well. Roja is an assortment of uh, of. Hey, lo sai ho ying lei ma? So this is the low bar. Uh, I'm sorry, roja, and uh, they have slices of guava, slices of low bar pute. Uh, then cucumbers as well, and uh, I think the sauce is a bit separate, uh, very unique. And you can see there the small little uh, bowls. They have the the black rojak sauce, which is I think is made of sugar and caramel and uh, diced peanuts and chilies as well. And uh, they do put in uh, pineapples as well, and also uh, not ripe mango. So when it comes to cucumbers, they take out the seed because the seed is a bit too soft, and they're not forgetting the crackling, you know, the prawn, prawn uh, crackers. I smothered the vegetables with the black uh, sweet sauce. So the unique to this place is they put guava. And normally people don't put guava. Adds a bit of texture and taste to it, and uh, this one is what uh, this wonton me. Uh, it's not the wonton me. It's a uh, very very big. Oh, ying da le de mo. Oh yeah, ying da le de mo. Ta che che. Oh, ying da le de mo. Oh yi. Okay. So this is wonton me, and that's the me. Put it into the water. To boil and cook the noodles. In just a couple of seconds will do. And that's the uh, I don't know what choy. You may choy, yeah. Yeah, it's uh choy sum. Choy sum. And that's the wonton. And that's the noodles. Herbal chicken. Herbal chicken. Ah, oh, okay. They have herbal chicken here as well, which is I think is that one. Yep, that's the herbal chicken. Herbal chicken. Ah, herbal chicken. Very eh. Nice. Very nice. So do come to this restaurant here to. Try their herbal chicken. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm So, I'm a bit confused, man. Right? So, 
So this is the herbal food that she's making with the wonton noodles with a big piece of uh, drumstick with the herbs. With a sprinkling of garnishing of uh, made of chives and whatnot, I think. And that's it. And the next one we have in this restaurant is uh, the Sotong Kangkung or Kangkung is that one. And the drink section is here. Hey, Lo Sai, how are you? Lo Sai, how are you? Oh, okay. That's the Kangkung which has been uh, blanched in hot water to cook it a bit. And this is the Kangkung. And that's the blanched one with the steaming hot. Uh, water and that's the squid and this is the sauce the chili sauce the tim chong and the satay sauce i think it's a mixture of three sauces satay sauce you give it a bit of spice And the uh, team jong, am I? Sweet sauce and chili, chili sauce. Oh, okay, very good. Oh, team jong, team jong, eh? Where are you going? Team jong, where are you going? Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Thank you, thank you. So done everything already here. So the next door one, uh, I've done already. So I think that's about it. Even though it's uh, 10 minutes. Hmm, lang doi, lang doi, lang doi. Never mind. So this is the overview of this place. Okay, see you Malaysia and bye bye.